Hades owns all the wealth of the earth, and miners take it from him bit by bit. Back when I was alive, I vowed that once I got to the underworld, I would find Hades' treasure trove and take it all at once. I have been chasing word of the treasure for a millennium now, and I know a few things. Imagine it! No more gold on earth. Precious metals will become unimaginably more precious. If I could make it to the surface, I could have anything I want. Hades is as clever as they come. If there is a way in, it will not be easy to find, but I will find it. I will. I will rob the god of wealth himself. I will be a legend. You cannot open this door. Hades is a clever god. He hides his greatest treasure in the middle of a city. He never comes to count it or even admire it. Yet, what would a locked vault contain but a treasure? The treasure is right there. The vault lies within. Can you imagine what treasure is locked inside? Hades is a clever god. This door is locked. Charon is missing, the judges are not judging. Damn these demons, not the old demons either, the guardians, but caravans of armed and unfriendly demons going... Where are they going? What happened to the time when we, who were not so great and not so evil, lived in dull, quiet peace? 
forgetting our miserable life. Others whisper that our Lord Hades fought with Our Lady Persephone and servants flee from their palace. This city was a peaceful place. Not too bad, but no paradise either. We who live here were not judged worthy of Elysium nor condemned to Tartarus. Now we have these shades running around with sword and shield to protect the weak and others trying to attack us. I wish they'd all move along and leave us in peace. The good shades and the evil ones have always come through the city on their way to be judged. Now they stay. Have Tartarus and Elysium both filled? There are many rumors going about. The judges this, Persephone that. I am no rumor monger. You'll have to ask others. In life, I was just a servant. I served passably. I wish I had done something more. There are many rumors going about. The transfer of knowledge bears a high price. It is decided. My stores are just as good as, as <laughs> up there. So long, mortal. My arts care not for life or fortune follow you. And now a mortal, is that it? First these daemons, strange news, now the living come traipsing through our land. Hermes, take you far from here. I can smell your blood. I remember life. Yes, it was long ago. I once stood upon a mountain. We tried to tell the living what was happening in the underworld. But the first place the daemons captured was a necromantia. It is our oracle. Our only way of communicating with our descendants. The demons muddy it now. They threw most of us in their cages. Now the lands of the living will have no warning of their impending doom. Humans go to the Necromantion to commune with their ancestors. We run the Necromantion here to allow Shades to speak to their loved ones. The Daemons targeted first in their war of conquest. Hades built the Necromantion as a small ray of hope for Shades from the City of Lost Souls. With an eternity of dull forgetfulness ahead of them, every Shade comes to us eventually. I remember when the famed Odysseus, beloved of Athena, came among us. 
loud blood still throbbing inside him. Are you such a one as he? At a pit stood clever Odysseus, and he cut the throat of the ram so the blood flowed into a pit. Bright it was, and we thirsted. But he held us back with his blade, all but Tiresias, blind and far-seeing. Mm. Eons and eons, the daemons of Hades have tended his sunless world. They have built, guarded, and punished. Never have they acted as they act now. This place is called the City of Lost Souls. Each and every shade must pass this way on their journey to the Tower of Judgment. There they are judged. The wicked sent to Tartarus and the great to Elysium. All others returned this way. Well, that is how things used to be. How many eons I have dwelled in this city I know not. Never have I seen such things as I have seen in these days. Tartarus is a filthy pit of darkness. The Elysian fields are said to be a place of sunlit peace, peopled by poets and heroes. But something has gone wrong in the tower and the good and bad crowd our streets instead. I have tried to go to the Elysian fields, and I cannot. No shade can go on, for judgment has been withheld, and with it, reward. The gateway to evil is closed, but the price is the path of light. Only the three judges who pass sentence can open the fields of Elysium. And then, only to those who are worthy. I cannot be sure that I would be judged worthy of Elysium, so perhaps I am destined to stay here anyway. After all, how could I have done enough good in my life to warrant an eternity of pleasure? Perhaps no one should be judged. If the price is giving a paradise so that no shade lives in pain, I would gladly do that. Some of us around here may not be heroes, but it takes more than heroes to win a war. We lay low and pop up where they least expect us. And when they start to fight back, we just fade away. There is a caravan not far from here out on the salt flats. It is full of supplies for the Daemon army. If that caravan were to meet with an unfortunate accident, well, let's just say that it might set things back a bit on the front lines. So how about it, hero? Think you can handle a little sabotage? So we were denied entrance to Elysium, so what? It doesn't mean we are craven. It just means we do things a different way. We know that these caravans have stopped for a while on the salt flats. They are at their most vulnerable. I can promise you that losing them will be a blow to the Daemon forces. You may assume they are pretty well guarded. If you tell anyone you talk to me, be assured you will get a visit in the night. A most unpleasant visit. We take care of our own, and if you prove you aren't one of us, you'll find we can take care of you in a different way. How long has it been since I beheld my love, Orpheus? Well, I must remain forever here. He is banished from the Deadlands. Yet, if I had the mirror of Psyche, if such a thing exists, I could gaze upon his face. It is said the mirror lies within the Cave of Whispers. If you found it, would you bring it to me? The mirror of Psyche would show me where he is, but only me. I fear for Orpheus. Arata would not kill the greatest poet who ever lived, but she would punish him. It has been years in the mortal world since anyone has heard a song from Orpheus. Has she silenced him or something more horrible? I do not know, and only the mirror of Psyche can tell me the truth. You've nothing to do with those daemons, have you? Goodbye. We can uh, uh, accommodate you. Goodbye, living Before traveler. the war of the Olympians and the Titans, Zeus quarreled with a Titan and in anger threw his thunderbolt so hard that the Titan was reduced to ash. 
Prometheus used the ashes to fashion the first humans. He put the few remaining ashes into a sacred urn, which now rests here in the underworld, watched over by a fearsome guardian. I am versed in the Eleusinian rites, and could prepare the dust, if I had it. Prepared, it would grant some of the power of the original Titan. Since no hero has ever touched the ash of a Titan, no one can say exactly what it will do to a living mortal. A mortal should not be able to get near the urn, but you should not have survived this long, warrior. Perhaps you are one of the few heroes who could win the contents of the urn from its guardian. There is only one way to find out. The formula's nature is your and my arts await your patronage. I was a crooked merchant in life, right? Been to the tower. I would stay away. Nothing good for you or me there. If you believe what they say, Persephone, our dark goddess, is imprisoned too by Hades. So they whisper, but they do not whisper why. You will not get in. There are only demons there. They laughed at me. They took turns hitting me with their clubs and kicking me until I ran like a rat. Aristonomus says he was once a miner, but he never swung a pick in his life. He was a jewel thief in life, and he wants to continue to be one in death. Aristonomus stole my family's fortune, and I vowed that I would not rest until I had restored it tenfold. I will have Hades' treasure, and I will deny it to Aristonomus. Once I was a pampered noble, then poverty made me find new ways to get by. I lived by my wits, seeking treasure in ancient tombs. Aristonomus is a lying thief. Back! Stay back! You are not a daemon. What are you? Just leave me be. The daemons will find me. Some fools are trying to do something about the daemons. They will be the first in cages. Just you watch. I know the truth. They're throwing us in Tartarus. Not me. They won't find me. I got through my life by hiding and skulking. I don't see why I cannot get by that way now.
That's one caravan that won't be seeing the end of the road. Take your reward, and don't let it be said that the Resistance does not pay its debts. I have other tasks if you're interested. It has been rough on us, but we have friends. I like you, and there's someone I think you should meet, but you have to have the proper introductions. We cannot let just anyone see Cothonomous. Oh wait, forget that name. Go find a shade named Pylades. If he likes you, maybe you can meet our little Trojan horse. When you speak to Pylades, do not let on that I told you the name of our benefactor. In fact, you never spoke to me at all. There is more to our little organization than meets the eye. Stealth and cruelty can sometimes be more effective than honor and duty.
bother me, mortal. I have no wish to spar or to parlay. I said leave me be. 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 Wise in life, could they succumb to rage and conquest in death? The ferryman fell, I fell, evil beckons, and who has the will to resist? They withhold their judgment, is that not evil? They leave us in torment. Can you stop the torture? Can you find the judges? The judges were once kings among men. They know that when an opportunity for conquest arises, you must seize it. How could that be evil? Minos, Iacus, and Radamanthus. These are the judges, the fallen, the usurpers. Their power must be great indeed, if they can command the armies of the underworld. You will probably have to slay them. You have succeeded where I have failed again. I came here to rescue these shades, but was captured myself. I failed at every heroic act I ever tried. I thought I would never see the great fields of Elysium, but this war has given me another chance. The Tower of Judgment is overrun by demons and fiends. I cannot get near, and I certainly have not done enough to be judged a hero. I pledge to you, upon all that is good in this afterlife, that I will repay this debt to you, no matter what the cost or the risk. I tried to make my way to the tower, but the demons were too numerous. So I continue to fight here. I thought for sure this time I would meet some horrible fate, but fortune brings you to release me. I thank you. I will return to the fight, and this time I will not be captured. In truth, the fight here is much more important than whether one shade attains Elysium. If I fall, then so be it. This cannot be opened.
carry anymore. Caravan stores! Please, please, come in. Do I see a merchant ship?
Thank you. 
Inobius had no idea the depths to which the demons had fallen. They brought in that... that beast you just slew, and they were feeding us to it. It was horrible, horrible. At first, it could only eat one of us a day, but it grew, and so did its hunger. My turn was not far off. Such a fate! So many lost! The demons laughed as they threw the priests to the monster. I fear they are feeding shades to similar beasts all over Hades. The beast would consume the shades, and we could see them still struggling within its bones. Slowly, they would be digested, screaming all the while. I survived this long through mere chance, or perhaps my destiny is not yet fulfilled. Oh! 
You can't carry any more. I don't do business with those demons. I'll tell you that much. So long, mortal. We are shadows of your world. Much is the same here. Bye. Mm. Psyche's mirror. Thank you. Let me look. <gasps> he is imprisoned. Orato cast him into a dark pit and he is guarded by Cyclops and other foul creatures. Please save Orpheus. With the power in this mirror, I will open the portal directly to him. But. Danger lurks there. Please bring him back to me. The way is open. Be careful. Be swift. Be sure. Bring me my love. The power of love opens the way, and love will keep it open. Orpheus and love will reward you. The ashes of the hundred-handed one. I did not think to see it, ever. The preparation ceremony is quite simple. Here. Your well-earned reward. You are truly impressive, Titan Slayer. These ashes were guarded for millennia. Yes, I have kept a pinch for myself. If the judges do not open the path to Elysium for me, I will regain my flesh and return to the living land. You are truly impressive, Titan Slayer. These ashes were guarded for millennia.